Hey guys, it's Cryptus here, and today I have for you a tutorial on how to get custom mob spawners in Minecraft 1.7, just like that one there, which will summon a zombie holding a sword with the custom name I can hold a sword, and then after that we'll just summon me, or that is a mob with my player head, or we have here <coughs> a spawner which summons cake carts. and as you can see right in here it's rotating very slowly and it won't spawn another batch of cake carts for quite a long time sorry Let me just set the time to 20,000 for the purpose of the video or there's this one which will summon villagers with custom trading options now if you wanted to know how to do any of those um, things that they're, they're my cut spawn I've made videos on those so that uh, if you look at the other videos on my channel you'll find out alright so I've broken this up into parts and as you can see it's it's a little bit complex so I'll try and cover it as best I can alright so the first bit is just to summon a mob spawner so oh to set block a mo mob spawner so set block coordinates mob spawner zero replace so that's just going to summon one with a pig. Alright, so then we go set block coordinates, mob spawner zero, replace entity ID colon, and then the ID of wh whatever entity you want to summon. So now that will summon zombies. Alright, next we have um, uh, summon um, set block coordinates mob spawner zero replace enter DRD zombie and then the new tag spawn data colon and then in curly brackets this is basically like uh, the tag tag for um other commands but then your spawn data colon in curly brackets equipment and then I've just got a list of equipment so this will summon a zombie wearing full diamond armor with a custom player head and a diamond sword. Alright. Now, no, I just did that one. Now, as you can see, we've got set block coordinates, mobs 1 and 0, replace entity ID, zombie, spawn data, and the uh, equipment. And um, then we've got spawn potentials, and then in um, after a colon, there's square bracket and then curly brackets, type zombie. And that will summon a mob spawner which summons zombies, but I won't um, press the button for that one because if I do, my game will crash. Uh, because you need the wait commit wait tag as well. So after type zombie, we got wait one, and that will summon uh, zombies. And then afterwards, it'll just summon a zombie. Uh, it'll summon geared mob, geared zombies, and then just a zombie. Sorry. Alright, so it should just be summoning a zombie next. Um, we'll leave that there. Oh, yeah, see. Just zombies now. And that's because the spawn potentials, after the first uh, mob is spawned, overwrite the data that you've already put in. Alright, so next we have um, properties. So that's also just like the tag tag for um, other things like items and such. So after properties we've got um, just more equipment. So that will, um, at first this one will summon uh, zombies with full diamond armor and diamond sword in my player head. But then they will summon it with mad maker's player head. So, I'm not going to wait for that to spawn. Alright, so next we have spawn count. And that's just going to uh, be the amount of mobs or entities that spawn every time. So, as you can see, I've got one. And um, only one has spawned. I don't think this works with the spawn potentials, but um, yeah. 
it's still a pretty cool way of controlling it. Alright, so where was I up to? No. Nope. Here. Alright, so then you can see we've got a new tag which is spawn range 3. So that will only spawn mobs in a range around the mob spawner which will be on top of this of 3. So, uh, 3 blocks. So, you could spawn. Um, I think uh, I could spawn as far as this. So yeah, um, if I just set the time again, it'll spawn over there. Alright, um, so then as you can see we've got required player range 3, so that shouldn't spawn, okay, that shouldn't spawn any mobs unless I'm in a, a radius of 3 with the spawner. So I'll leave it there for a while without going near it. And then hopefully when I go near it it should spawn a zombie. So we'll go near it. Um Okay. So that that's a bit buggy, but um yeah, I don't know why that's not working. And I don't know where all these zombies are coming from. But anyway, we were up to... Here. So as you can see, we've got a new tag on the end, which is delay. And I've got delay 50, so that should stop uh, the spawning for 50 ticks. which is about 2.5 seconds alright now I think it's uh, going to spawn any time after 2.5 seconds I don't think there is a set time with the delay command but you know Alright, so then we've got the min spawn delay. So if you don't have the delay uh, tag in there, then um, it's going to choose between min spawn delay and in this one we've got max spawn delay. So it's just randomly going to choose a number between them, I think, and then spit out a zombie or a mob at that time. So if I just show you... Done. So yeah, it's just uh, summoning mobs at random time between 25 ticks and 200 ticks. Alright. Now for the last one, we've got max nearby entities 1. So that should prevent it from spawning if there's uh, one entity of the same type around. So if it spawns... Yep, you can see. It's that. It shouldn't spawn in another one um, when a second uh, mob like that one is around. Get back there. But yeah, if the second mob is there of the same type, then it r shouldn't spawn. It's only up to the number after max entity, max nearby entities. This has been another tutorial by Crypsis. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And that's all.